I need something to smoke. Now you you saw, I'm not a I'm not a jerk hoarder or anything like that. I just don't smoke that much. You know, this has been this has been building over uh, many years. A little tobacco collection there. I you know I haven't made I really haven't made any big purchases or acquisitions. Very you know I don't really do that that much, but. I'll hit up a tobacco shop somewhere a couple times, you know, just wherever I'm at. If, if, if you know, I try to hit the brick and mortars when I can. And if they have tobaccos, I try to pick up some tins. So it's time to crack into a new one. Uh, that top shelf there has got plenty of tobaccos that I've opened, but I need something new. Dang it. I deserve it. So I've got the taste. I, I I want some Virginia. I want I want a, I want a, I want, a, I want a good Virginia tobacco. Now I have a few selections that I was mulling over. Let's see what do we got here. We got some Dunhill Flake. Never had it. This tin's from 2012. <laughs> Great. Uh, I got some University Flake. I think I have a few tins of that. Picked some of. Uh, this is from 2014. Hamburger Veer Master. Yeah, I got that in San Antonio. Let's see, from 2014. Briar Fox. I hear that's a good, that's a good little Virginia. And I picked this up yesterday uh, from my local tobacconist. It says it's from 2013, I do believe. This is some matured Virginia 27. But that's not what I'm going to open up today. We are going to crack into a, a, a tin that is six years old. I got this from a tobacco shop called the Smoke and Ale. And it's in Nashville, Tennessee. And I believe McClelland blends this. But this is their a Chicago Land Pipe Collectors Club selection. Their Rich Virginia Ribbon Pipe Tobacco. Selected by the CPCC, so it's made by uh, McClellan's. It says it's a rich, powerful blend, zesty, lightly sweet, pleasant to the tongue. Notice the flavor curve of this clean smoking, matured Virginia as it develops during each smoke. Hmm. Well, if it's already been matured, <laughs> it's been matured for another six years. So we're going to go get into this and you'll get to hear me. You'll get to watch as I like load it into a pipe. It's going to be embarrassing because I'm, there we go. Ah, look at that. Oh, ho, ho. the aroma, the aromas. Look at that. Ooh. It's not too moist. Oh yeah. Not too moist. All right. I got some. These are some it's very, very bright red, some dark, good mix of different colors. I got to see some, I see like some yellowishy orange in there, like you can see. Mmm, sweet. I've got that, that dark fruit aroma. Oh yeah. I just, it just, it's not like overpowering it's not pungent but wow it's sweet and it's inviting it just it's it's like it's saying smoke me smoke me Derek <laughs> I'm going to now the smoking instrument what shall I choose now underneath the iPad the recording apparatus right here I've got my drawer of, uh, of stuff I could smoke it in this let's see ooh I haven't, I've yet to open, <laughs> I need to, I need to open that up and, and use that, but, ah, here we go. Come on, guys, let's, let's go with the Icarus, uh, whatever that shape is. It's a pipe I got from Briarworks, uh, in one of their giveaways. Lovely, lovely pipe. So, we're gonna, we're gonna load her up into, into this thing now. I can't exactly load it like in full view. You're not going to be able to see, 
you're not going to be able to see my process, but that's okay. You're not going to learn anything from my process. I will just make you dumber by showing you my process and just embarrass myself. So you just get to hear me talk while I load the pipe. Just talk about stuff. It's Sunday night here in uh, West Texas. My son's asleep. My, wa my wife is in uh, the great state of Washington visiting her friend up in Seattle. So, and spring break starting. So, now I'm not going to load this thing up too terribly uh, deep. I'm just, I just want to taste it. I'm liking to, and this thing still needs to get broken or a little bit more. All right, got a little resistance there. Okay, mm, look at that. That would make a great Instagram photo. Let's see. I'm getting the the Instagram notifications right now. It said drop wood, drop bare woodworks like my photo. I know who that is. Here we go. Mm. Now, personally, Mm. 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 Woo. Now, personally, I like my little lighter, but I ran out of uh, I ran out of flints for it. So I need to order some. But I'm still mulling over tobacco purchases that I want to make on the website. All right, so I got the charring light down. And the reason I'm using this uh, pipe is it seems to, uh, come on, come on, match. It seems to burn Virginia as well. Now remember, this is right out of the tin, so I probably should have let it dry. But that's not what this series is about, dang it. Hmm. 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 It tastes like a matured Virginia. Now, now this is one I like to think of, you know, you have to be a mature pipe smoker to enjoy a mature Virginia. So that kind of knocks me out of the running, right? But I think if you go easy on this, Uh, you get a lot of that good Virginia sweetness that comes out. Yeah, no one's beating down my door to make me do tobacco reviews because I'm just like, it tastes sweet. <laughs> mm. I could tell as I was lighting it, if you go too fast, too hard on this, it, it's probably going to bite your tongue and it's going to taste like cigarettes. But if you go gentle... And it will, you, you go gentle on this tobacco, and it will treat you right. Oh, yeah. The flavor is very mild. It's very nice. I'm going to try to do the retro hail. Gosh. You know, this is just really nice. It kind of reminds me a little bit of McClellan's Matured Virginia number 22. That one had a little bit more flavor, but this is just mild and nice. You just get a hint of that, you just get a, a hint of that Virginia grassy sweetness. And uh, I like it. It's not something that you have to really think too hard about it's the the flavor I don't know I guess you could tease a little complexity out of that I don't know this probably isn't helping you at all is it <laughs> I know it's not you know you know what I'm gonna enjoy getting to know this blend this is this is good CPCC the Chicago Pipe Collectors Club Rich Virginia Ribbon Pipe Tobacco Get you some. Smell my beard.